All right, you guys, now don't freak out, all right? This is not my bike, this is my friend's bike, okay? I know I got a lot of VRA friends, uh, you know, Vulcan rider guys. I have not gotten rid of my Vulcan. It's right over there, okay? See? There's my angel right there. So <laughs> don't freak out. I'm just doing this work for a friend of mine, okay? He's got a V-Star 650 and he's on the road all the time. I just do stuff kind of, well, one, give me something to do, but two, because he doesn't have the time and he's a trucker out on the road all the time, so I do the work for him. So let's get into this, okay? It's of course getting cold. The bikes are getting ready to be stored away. We already had, what was it, about six inches of snow? and that was before halloween now today at least it's a nice day it's supposed to get up around 45 today it's about 40 degrees right now i might just jump on angel and go for a ride later today but right now i want to focus on my friend dell's bike i don't know if i told you this but it is no longer the black otter it is now otter chaos <laughs> and because of that He's got a sticker on the back of his uh, rear fender there that actually says Otter Chaos on it. So, Otter Chaos is a 2000 V Star 650. Um, Dell made a deal with a guy, traded him a, a set of uh, dragster style handlebars for a backrest for his bike. He's been wanting one, so now he's got a backrest. So. We're gonna put it on for him today. Should be a really easy process, just a few bolts. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is everything that Dell got with that uh, handlebar deal for this backrest. He got both mounting plates, the backrest, and the mounting hardware. Okay, so I've already checked Dell's bike. Because he's got those luggage rack supports on his rear fender, um, they've already ex changed out the regular bolts that came and someone had to exchange those for a longer bolt to put those uh, luggage rack holders. That's one thing I don't have to buy. I don't have to go out and buy longer bolts to put on that uh, backrest, okay? We can just use the bolts that are there. But if your bike doesn't have anything new on it, you may have to go out and buy a longer bolt. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing we need to take off are just these little covers here. Yeah, they just got little uh, push covers on there. And I can see that they're slightly damaged from when it got pulled off and these were, uh, you know, this bar was put on. So I can see little markings on here where someone's already pried them off before in the past. But you just stick your screwdriver in there. Try not to damage it. I mean, it is difficult. There. Just pop it off. So yeah, that's all you're prying off. Is just this little button cover and there's one of course on all four of them you know there's one here here and the two on the other side why in the world these didn't have like a little section drilled out on the side just so you can stick a tool in there I don't know it would have made it a lot easier I mean look at that Look how that got marred up just from me trying to pull it out. All right, now, now that we got those off, we can go ahead and get our Allen wrenches. I'm gonna go with a uh, six millimeter. Yep, six millimeter. Oh wow, those really weren't tight at all. All right, now the thing is, um, up under the uh, fender, there's there are nuts. Oh wow! I can actually hold the nut with my fingers and turn this one. I thought for sure there'd be enough rust there to. I would need to have like a. I think it's supposed to be like a 12 millimeter that's supposed to be holding that screw that bolt on. But it's coming right off. That's surprising. It really is. So that's the uh, bolt that was inside the fender. Oh, I can just leave that in there. Oh, 
Oh, I can do it on the other one too. Amazing. Alright. So we'll just pull that off. Again, just let it sit there. Because we're just going to take our, our sissy bar support. Uh, this is going to be a little finagly here. Because we need to keep the back seat strap right there. Put that on like that. Put that on. Now you may have to uh, yeah, pick up your fender just a little bit. Push the uh, screw through. We're going to do the other same to the other side here. Line up the holes. All right. So, got them pushed through. That's the good thing. Ugh. That little bar, I don't... <laughs> Got to hold my wrist a certain way. All right, get that nice and tight. I mean, it doesn't have to be super tight, but I definitely want it tighter than it was when it was on there. Because that seemed a little too loose. Nice and tight. Wow, I, I'm really surprised. I thought for sure I was going to have to have a little wrench back there to hold those nuts. And for me, I didn't have to do that. All right, so that's the one support. And I just got to go around and put the other one on. Same process. Of course, if you want to, put your caps back on. I suppose if anything, you know, you don't have to have those caps on there, but it will prevent the bolts from rusting. So, or you can just use stainless steel bolts and those are expensive. So yeah, we'll put the covers on. All right, same thing on this side. Just get your tool in and pull out the little buttons. Let's see how these are. <laughs> Yeah, these are really nice and loose too. Wow. <laughs> Squeaky as hell. Just undoing the bolt on the back. really loose too. Maybe it's a good thing I'm doing this just to tighten up the bolts. <laughs> All right, so that comes off. Again, make sure your strap stays in place. This is going to be kind of weird since the uh, the helmet thing is there. All right, get it through the supports. All right. This time we're gonna put the uh, nut on right away, just to kind of help hold it in place. All right, and then that. Wow, fender didn't move much on that one. Of course, the other side's tight now. <laughs> Having a hard time getting this one lined up for some reason. There it goes. All right, nice and tight there. Nice and tight there. Excellent. That's almost it. I mean, we're three quarters of the way done already. Can you believe that? This is such an easy job. All right, I'm gonna put my little buttons back. 
Now we just need to uh, mount the sissy bar itself. All right, so I'm gonna do one side at a time. I think that'll be a little easier. And then uh, as you can see, there's a lot of play in there. But once we get everything all tightened up, everything gets squeezed together. Just feed the bolt through and put a nut on. Feed the bolt through and put a nut on. Reached over and grabbed my other ones. Now this is where it's going to get a little tricky because you got to pinch it together pretty hard to get it to hold. Put a wrench on to hold the nut, put on a socket on the other side, and just tighten them up. I'll do the same on this side over here. There we go. So, uh, <laughs> that was easy. What, that was a, a six mil Allen wrench. Used a, uh, <clears throat> a 12 mil uh, wrench. Um, I, I think over in uh, the UK and stuff like that, they call them spanners. I didn't use it. But it would have been used if I couldn't hold on to the bolt inside the fender there, if it was too corroded and rusted on. This is what fits on that, that nut. And then to tighten up the bolts that actually hold the backrest onto the supports, it's 10 millimeter. And I used a socket on one and a wrench on the other side. And then of course, just the small little, um, screwdriver, pick, whatever you want to use just to pull those little caps off. That's it. Job's done. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the road.